Hey there guys, it's your favorite backyard geographer out of Morro Bay, California. We're here for a couple of reasons. One is to understand a little bit more of this really unique geology that stands in front of you, behind me, that dates back to the Oligocene, but also to look at some of the really unique coastal geomorphology that occurs in this region. So we'll begin with Morro Rock. So Morro Rock's story kind of begins a long time ago, about 25 million years ago, and it developed as a plug dome volcano. Notice the shape that it has. The reason it gets you know, the name plug dome is because the molten material in that formation would have been really silica rich, really high with silica, which causes it to be very sticky. So it doesn't necessarily run like most volcanoes, become sticky and gets built up and will create these really unique plugs or domes. Um, after that process, then we have a lot of coastal erosion that will occur, and then will then expose the plug dome itself. So while we're on this lookout point, I think it's really important for us to be able to both observe and interpret some of the coastal geomorphology that's standing behind me. So I'm gonna turn around so we can see that this is part of the Los Osos estuary. Moving over a little bit to my right, we're gonna have our Bay Mouth Bar and Morro Bay, and then we have Morro Rock. So let's talk a little bit about how these things would have formed. So the development of this estuary goes back to the end of the last glaciation. As the glaciers were melting, they were releasing a tremendous amount of water, causing sea level rise, and also bringing a tremendous amount of material to our coastlines. As sea levels were rising, it was then flooding out these areas, bringing in that material which was settling down. Then, as that material was being washed out towards the ocean, the longshore current would be transporting that material down the beach face. In doing so, you create something like this, which being our, our bay mouth bar, which is essentially this huge berm of sand that's been deposited by, by the waves themselves, cutting off this drainage area, turning it into an estuary. So as the longshore current brings that net grain material down, the coastline itself, in that process it ends up straightening the curves, straightening out our coastline in those deposits. But in this particular case, this deposit is sealing off Morro Bay. So since the beach is really that transition zone between the hydrosphere and the lithosphere, estuaries are quite unique. Estuaries are zones in which freshwater drainage will then transition with that salt water, <laughs> bugs everywhere, that salt water, creating more of a brackish zone, but we also find it's a great uh, uh, ecological habitat for lots of different birds and animals. Look at me. I'm out here in the estuary at Morro Bay, and the only reason that I can be out here right now is because it's low tide. So as that water is being pulled away, it's exposing this platform. Other things that I'm able to observe while walking out here is the fact that this is all sand, which is nice is that you might be able to see these mounds that I'm standing around. This area is also known for their clams. Huh, pretty cool, huh? So here we are at the base of Morro Rock. Ta-da! and to speak more about its geology. So this is a day site rock, uh, meaning that it's felsic, so it's feldspar and silica rich. Again, it formed deep beneath the surface during the Oligocene, so about 25 million years ago. It's part of a chain of these plug dome volcanics. The, the region, it's identified as the Seven Sisters, but there's technically nine, but there's as many as 23. It's a very complicated story, but it's just because they're littered throughout the landscape within about a 15 mile range, and you can actually observe them quite well looking through Google Earth. What's interesting also about these formations is that they developed beneath the surface, then it was eroded away, so now they're exposed. But over the last about five million years or so, they've all rotated as a line about 40 degrees. Due to coastal erosion, this is actually the shortest of all the sisters. 
One more thing that um, I wanted to add as well. Oh, shoot. Never mind. I forgot what I was going to say. It was, there's 23. What, was it? what did I tell you? I... But the base of Moral Rock. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, should I start over again? I thought you meant that no notes, so you just wanted that.